there'd be a lot of poop in my hands. <laughs> Seeing a six foot alligator go swing into the air and slam into a tree. These guys are the scientists of the supernatural, lecturers leaving lessons for inquiring laymen. They are applying the scientific method to a world that baffles science. They are the cryptids of the corn. But who else has big black wings and red eyes? Um, Batman. Oh, Mothman. Oh yeah, Mothman. A great white shark was stolen. Oh, someone stole a shark? I got stuff for you you don't even know about. She's a witch. She turned me into a newt. Who knows? Anything could be possible. Anything could be possible. It's really big mm-hmm. abduction vibes. Holy moly. It sounds like you were abducted. And it just stood up. I mean, it just like kept going on and going. On. And she goes, what the f-? Welcome back to Cryptids of the Corn Podcast. I am the great and powerful Mr. E. And I am Jay's clone number 33, Larry Bird. And I am much more powerful today than any other day of the year. Is that because uh, it's my birthday? You stuck, you, oh, I thought because you, you stuck your finger in that light socket. socket. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Woo. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, so it is a Thursday, and this is going to be like... It's weird, right? Why are we doing anything on Thursday? I don't know. I... We'll get to that in a second. Oh, okay. But anybody that's coming out to Ohio Bigfoot this weekend, we're super, super excited to see you. We are already here. Yes, we're here waiting for you. Ooh, we're podcast waiting. Podcast time travel. We're waiting on but you. I'm going to say uh, everybody that's here for the weekend, uh, once again, try to let us know on the Facebook and all that stuff or Instagram. But watch the Facebook, because we are once again doing the Hide the Cryptid game. Yep. We have about 10 Bigfoots and about 10 other cryptids that we're going to hide throughout the whole weekend. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, I, I know there's a uh, a Mongolian deathworm. The Flatwoods Monster made a reappearance. Oh, your favorite. I like Braxy. I know. I don't, you have a love-hate with Braxy. Oh, no, I just hate you. Oh, maybe that's love, love hate, hate relationship with you. Yeah, oh, I'm Braxy. Yeah. Uh, but no, so we're super excited for this weekend. It's going to be so much fun. So all you cryptid hunters out there, get your magnifying glasses out. Search the clues. Find the cryptids. So it takes my birthday. I think I'm 28. I think I did. I'm not sure. Why? Because I think I'm 28. I may be 29. What year were you born? I'm not going to tell anybody. They, they'll figure it out. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's that's kind of how you, these things work. No, nah, it's okay. But no, so our Kickstarter goes live today. Live I was like, action. You you were looking up at the ceiling, and I was like, "What the heck's going on?" Well, I was I was thinking in my head what uh, year you graduated compared Yee! to me. Live, Yee, live action. Live action. We got live action Turtle Kickstarter. Man. So Turtle Man, or not Turtle Man? The Kickstarter is live for the live action Yiggy <laughs> lawn chair documentary series. Uh, me and Jay are planning on doing this upcoming year ish. So I, I think we're planning on having the first one out by the fall or the end of fall and then kind of rolling from there. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the topics that we were kind of getting ready to gear up to work towards. And these aren't guaranteed written in stone, but these are kind of the ones that have inspired us. Which, uh, which if you have, if you don't follow us on any of our socials, you know, our Instagram, our Facebook, our Telegram, our Tic Tacs, um, if you don't follow any of those... What's our what's our Kickstarter going to be about? What's it for? Lawn chair documentaries. I just said it. I mean, like, uh, so we're going to talk like, about it. So it's the. I, I mean, what's our Kickstarter? Yeah, get into that's. I'm trying to set you up here. What's not our kick- doing the best job? I know. I had the thought in my head, so I went for it. We have to thank Robert here first. Let me find. Let me pull it up. Oh yeah, Robert, and uh, also known known as Chief Cornstock. Chief Cornstock. So him and his wife, one of our founding elder. Yes. Tribesmen. They own OutdoorPolyFurniture.com. Do you remember the discount code? Corn. Like corn. Yep. So the discount code is corn. They have graciously donated our, our lawn chairs and a table for the recording of this thing. So I want to thank those guys first and foremost. What's their name again? What? No, the name of the company. Oh, sorry. So people can... And look. I'll have the link for it in the description right. too. In the show But notes. it's OutdoorPolyFurniture.com. Outdoor? Outdoor Poly. Poly Furniture, like P O L Y, Poly. Yep. Uh, so we're super excited for that. And I think we're getting the patriotic set. 
Ooh. So that'll be fun. Live action. Yay, yay. So what the documentary is about. So my body is physically broken. I'm a broken human being. Spare parts. I'm all spare parts, bud. And I'm all like, I got all the good genes, like perfection Except parts. Except four foot tall, you know, 80 pounds. I've seen, I've seen small eagles size you up. You know, and I took every one of them. Yeah. I took them down. But that hawk almost got you. And the flap. Took your hat. It took my f- hat. It couldn't take my flap. I fooled him. They won't know what that is for like another three weeks. Talking about the flap. They'll find, they'll find out Ohio yeah. Bigfoot. And this weekend, if you want to know what the flap is. Come up and ask Jay. Come at. Yep. But oh. no, so th- thank you guys so much for donating those chairs. We're super excited. But the, to the documentary series. So this whole theory, this whole like series, basically the plan is we're going to go places that everybody can go to and tell untold stories or maybe unfamiliar stories because that's kind of what our podcast is about. Mm-hmm. Now, there's like we can talk about Flatwoods Monster all day and every there's like six documentaries on Flatwoods. So why would we do a documentary on Flatwoods? I'm not going to tell you anything you haven't heard six times before, but like the Willard UFO. As far as I know, we were the first one to really cover that. Uh, Potentially, oh, we should do your Bigfoot encounter. That may be if I can get a hold of it. Anyways, so like that, Kelly's Island, the ghost there, Moonville Tunnel. You know, these are all places that everybody can go. That's kind of the point of the Launcher documentary mm-hmm. series is we're going to cover some of the weird, wacky, and paranormal stuff that's happened that you can go to. You know, I pick on Joel. Uh, you know, they did the Dogman documentary. And what, how I, what I mean by I pick on them is I say, you know, not everybody can go out to Daniel Boone National Forest and chase Dogman all night. Right, yeah. You know, I have a bad knee. I just physically, I can't. It's it's, it's not for every, so this is everybody. What, yeah, so this is going to be, and it's going to be really flavored after our podcast show. Uh, so we'll be set up in the lawn chairs, recording in the middle of the woods, in the middle of a junkyard, and on the ferry to Kelly's Island. You know, all this stuff. Uh, so it's all done out of our lawn chair. Which will be fun. It'll be fun. You get to hear the stories. In a more relaxing way. Yeah. And, a, and you get some visual aspects to it that we, you don't really get to provide on the podcast. So yeah. It'll just be a fun little change of pace. It's something else for you guys to enjoy and consume. 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 Obey. Consume. consume reproduce. <laughs> What is that from? They live. Oh yes, thank you. They look like uh, Mexican painted skulls. Yeah, they do kind of. That's what that's. I thought that's what the movie was about. Oh no! Before I knew what it was. Uh, aliens. I'm like, why does everybody look like a Mexican painted skull? It's a great movie. Candy skulls. It's actually that movie's can Yeah, the candy skull. Yeah, for the for the Day of the Dead. Like, I worked in a very Hispanic to... community for a while, mm. and it was a big deal. The candy skulls. I like that art style too. It's it's gorgeous. That but that movie they live is great. Starts off awesome, but then it flounder. It has one of the best fight scenes ever in a movie because it's like twenty minutes long, but then it flounders kind of at the end. Just it's like the, it's like they were filming it. And, All right, we got to get this. We got to finish this. We got a timetable. Let's get this movie over with. And they finished it in like a day. So back to lawn chair documentaries. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a couple different tiers that you can donate if you feel so inclined. Nobody has to. But what I will ask if everybody could is share it. Sharing's free. Yeah, sharing is free. So and if you caring. can get the link below and share it to Facebook or whatever, we greatly appreciate it. And it, pretty much the money is just going to buy the camera and the microphones and the carrying case. Right. That's all we're asking for. It's just because, and then me and Jay will have to, you know, we have to fund some. We have to fund some. We're fine with that. But we're trying to get it crowdsourced. And you guys get some stuff out of it too, depending on the tier. It would just help us get this um, Done ball sooner. rolling faster. Yes. Yeah. And then there's even stuff for like ad placements and stuff uh, with the, the Kickstarter that you can get. I don't know if you got, everybody has like a small business at home or anything like that. The Kickstarter can get you an ad spot. Yeah. And, and not just on Kickstarter. I mean, if you have a small business and you want to, you know, on the podcast or whatever, podcast, it's, 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 you know, let you us know. know. You got it. You own a cider, Especially a cider if you have a brewery. Com- yeah. A cider company. You know, if you own a farm that uh, just grows everything to create the cider right there on the farm locally and Blake's Bla- Blake's hard cider or if, competition or competition of Blake's. Yes. What? <laughs> I'll We're, play in both sides of the field until yeah, somebody starts yeah, sending exactly. us alcohol. Sa- cider. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll talk it up. Give us our honest opinion. Which Blake tastes great. It tastes really good. I mean, we probably the competition give, could taste better. It could taste depending better. on how much free alcohol comes to the house. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Just as long as you deliver. But yeah, so we're super excited for lawn chair documentaries. Uh, there's some really cool cryptid things we have, including giant catfish that we really want to do an episode on. Uh, and you know who you are out there that we've already kind of talked to about doing a di- giant catfish deep dive. You know. You know. You know who you are, Tiny. 
That's his nickname. I know. Uh, but I also the Brown Mountain away. Lights and stuff like that. We have, you know, uh, Brandon. Oh, is it just saying, you know who you are. You know who you are, slick back. Uh, uh, I didn't know what you were slick back. Uh, okay, that's okay. I thought you were going to say, you handsome man. You good looking man. His hair was all slicked back. It was gorgeous. You dapper. Uh, but no, so this is kind of what we're gearing up towards. And it's just the next kind of phase of growth. We're also getting ready to move into the new podcast studio and start construction and stuff like that in there. That would be fun. Uh, and we actually have an official time window kind of for that. Does, yes, yeah, soon. So, yeah, soon. <laughs> That's the time window. That's the time window, soon. Very soon. Uh, Which, you know, if, you got, if you're got, if you able-bodied and have, you know, a good work ethic and you just You want to come to Northwest to do- Ohio to work for free, let us know. Yep, have time to donate and can move things. Can maybe put up some drywall or something, you know. We might have some task for you. <laughs> We need, I don't think we need to put up drywall. Uh, I'm just saying. Ceiling. Ceiling. Are you? Uh, Not roof. Ceiling. Yeah, ceiling. Indoors. That's like drywall still. Yeah, it's still drywall. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, if you know, construction history, fan of the show, want to help out, help a brother out, you know. So what are, what, are, come on by. what are your thoughts about the documentary series? I'm excited to do it. I think it'll be fun, entertaining, but most of all fun. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, it's not going to be like spooky like it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be fun and lighthearted and like how we normally do stuff i think we're gonna have we already have some kind of eyewitnesses set up to come on and talk yeah about some of the phenomena uh I can see it being like a mix of uh i'm trying to think of a good documentary and but. it's kind of weird because through our connections and my even some of my connections in the past uh some of these documentaries we may be able to see stuff you've never seen anywhere else yes ever before uh, which is you know i think that's what a lot of people get from our show too they hear things they've never heard before right so you get that aspect, and it's. Kinda, I'm calling in a lot of biology favors. Oh yeah, it's going to be the real deal. Cashing in some chips. But it's also going to be fun, you know, kind of like Mountain Monsters fun. Where we're I gonna, love Mountain Monsters. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with it like they do. Uh, there will be a whole scene where in one of these documentaries, or where Jay is just running through the forest. Oh, I thought chasing something. I thought where I'd be like shirtless fighting Wild Bill in the wild. I would. I would pay him handsomely. To, I would to wrestle you. Not Shirt to wrestle. Wrist. I don't want to lose. I got to look good for the camera. He will flip you over like a beetle. <laughs> He'll start slapping your belly like a pig. Hoorah! <laughs> I love Wild Bill. Just imagine him having you on your back, just slapping your belly. Both just shirtless wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so yeah, once again, if you guys can share the link, we greatly appreciate it. If you are able to and you can donate, we greatly appreciate, appreciate that too. Yeah. Uh, and just going to help get this neck kind of movement going quicker. Yeah. Anything to add, Jay? Um, you know, we just uh, appreciate all of you out there listening, taking the time to uh, help us on this journey. We're all on together. That is life. Ain't that fun? It's awesome. Uh, so once again, if you guys are coming out to OBC this weekend, we cannot wait to see you. Let us know you're coming. I try to learn people's faces and names. Uh, and we also have some other big stuff in the background, too, working out with more live shows. We're getting organized. Uh, and maybe even some very unique conferences Ooh. coming their way. Ooh. So we're all we're in a pretty good group of other podcasts that we've made friends with and stuff like that. That it looks like there's some big things coming. You know, foreshadowing. Foreshadow. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I've been the great and powerful mystery. I've been Jay Clone Thirty Three. And together we are Cryptids of the Corn podcast. Thank you for your your support and your outreach. We greatly appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. Thank you for listening to Crips of the Corn podcast. Please share with a friend you think would like us. It's the best way to help our show grow. Leave a comment, rate us, a five-star review. And remember, there is always extra content on Patreon slash CryptoTheCorn.com. And don't forget, stay magical.